Hey, what's up everybody? Russ with rwgresearch.com here. I didn't want to leave you hanging, but I also didn't have time to make a video. I'm supposed to be making a video on software for this coil winding contraption, but it's actually pretty extensive and I want to make sure I hit all the details. And I just haven't had time to sit down and compile all that information because there is a lot of information there. So brief, uh, you know, un unofficial video here. I wanted to show you what I've been up to. I've actually been working on complex coils. So this is what I've been working on recently. And uh, the vacuum bed, I said I'd make in a new video. I don't know what all I will, will make an individual video for. So I'm just going to briefly give you a very quick update. So uh, right here, you've got a vacuum bed. Now, originally, I had this hooked up to the vacuum. And since then, I've added a glass plate so I can flip that over and use the glass plate on the other side. Or on this side, we have our vacuum. Now, I've recently connected this up to an actual vacuum line. Um, and I have a connected to a vacuum pump right there. And it's uh, it's hilarious. I've got this running into one of those big glass jars, the exit port. And with just the right spacing, just the right everything it's super quiet i'll show you that in a minute so that's the first upgrade i worked on since uh doing all my other videos and um producing coils like this check that out that is a big coil that is not a small coil that's 40 awg 7.75 inch outside diameter coil but i was still having problems number one complaint the number one complaint about my coil winding rig Hey, why don't you do something about the wire twisting? The wire's going to twist. So, there you go. Check this out. Wire untwister. Now, you're going to laugh at me that I built a wire untwister and added it to my printer. But you have to remember, the reason I did that is because I want to make complex geometry coils, not just spirals. So it's easy to do spirals with a turntable bed. It's not really easy to turntable a vacuum bed, though, so that could be a problem. But, um, yeah, I built a spool on Twister thingamajob. I don't know what you want to call it, but it works well. This is hanging on here. I've got keychain clips so I can disconnect this real easy, pop it back on. And uh, this is just spinning free on here on these bearings. So yes, that works really well. I don't know how much of a video I'll make on that, but I've got it synced up and I started making complex coils. I'm trying to test an idea and here's some of the complex coils that I'm making. Come on, stupid camera. Just focus. I do not like this camera, sorry. You have to deal with the nonsense. This is a quick and dirty video. Now these coils look messy, but actually, that's exactly the way I've got it programmed. Let me show you. Yeah, yeah, get out of here. See? So I've got it programmed like a mess, and I printed just like that. So I'd say that's pretty successful, if you ask me. Um, it'd be great if this camera focused. Anyway, it works. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. Now, I've got some more details to work on, but how did I do that? Let me show you. So originally, when I printed these tool lens... This was my first version, right? It doesn't have the, uh, it doesn't have anything fancy on it. It's just the first, very, very first one. Then I printed this one. Now, I intentionally printed these little, you guys are going to hate me for this camera footage, sorry. See those little indents? I purposely printed those indents in there because I knew I'd probably be adding some sort of an attachment. And that's exactly what I did. I printed this tiny little guy. And this is an attachment for the end. So, let's see if we can even capture this with this poor camera. You can kind of capture it, but it, yeah, it has a very special tool end on here. Great footage. Anyway, so that I can get those complex geometries a little better. So, real quick, let me show you the, uh, the vacuum pump. So, I'm going to turn this on. You can hear it pumping up here. Now, this won't suck completely flat because it's still on the paperback, but I should really take that off so you can really hear it. Better, I'll get another one. This is a full sheet, so let's just use this coil as an example.
da 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 da. Oh my. Come on. Suck it down now. There we go. It's hanging off a little bit. <laughs> that sheet's not flat. Hold on. I'll get it. There we go. Look at it. It pulled the uh, pulled a ripple in the coil. See that? That's crazy. Time out. Hold on. There we go. You get the point. Look at it. It actually pulled a ripple in there. That's crazy. Anyway, hear how quiet it is? So, listen how loud this actually is when I pull this out. Okay, so this would conventionally be making a, a lot of racket. But with just the right placement inside of here and that rag in there. Now listen, you can make it resonate. Hear it ringing? Or you can put it right against the side. And at just the right point, it will uh, quiet down. Quiet down now. Now I can't get it. Somewhere in there. And it's pretty quiet. So that's something I've been working on. I got two of these dry pumps from a lady online for a ridiculously good price. So thank you for for those. Um, I did buy them, but they were pretty cheap. So I'll turn this back off. And uh, watch it. So it held a pretty good vacuum, even though this is made of MDF unfinished. It still holds a pretty good vacuum. Well, wow, look at that. It really crinkled my coil. Oh well. Point is, is that I'm maxed out on this coil size with my bed size, so I have to make a bigger vacuum bed. But yeah, those are the upgrades I've been working on. I did print some other coils, and I can't seem to find them, so I can't show them to you. But here's, you know, the idea of a complex geometry. That is crazy. Look at that crazy tool path. It's a mess. But that's exactly what I wanted. And then the coil winding uh, un unspooler, untwister uh, seems to be working well. And then the new tool in here with the uh, attachment seems to be working well. So just wanted to give you a very short update of what I've been working on. And uh, just let you guys know, I am working on the software video and it is taking me a while. Oh, also, one more thing I forgot to tell you is that all of this is now wired onto the top. So if you guys remember, I ran all the wires down the insides of these rails. There's no wires on these rails at all. It's all in the center of that tiny little hole. And so I've removed all the wires, all of the sensors, and everything is now running through the um, through the top. So, yeah, there you go. Hi, Dexter. Okay. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll keep making videos. Uh, as I said, this is a quick and dirty one. God bless you guys. Read the Bible more. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up, thumbs down this video. I know this camera sucked. I apologize. Keep it real. Bye-bye.